fine tuning. Civil engineers and the military got medieval on Tuesday in a trebuchet building competition to launch National Engineering and Geoscience Month. Mark Flint, CEO of Apega, says some professions have a direct connection with the public, but engineering and geosciences don't always have that direct connection. I think there's lots of indirect connection to our professions, to uh, society, and this is a good opportunity to stop and reflect on those connections. The launching of the cardboard catapults coincides with the launch of a new website, ingenious.ca, a site for kids to learn more about careers in geoscience and engineering. Building trebuchets was a friendly challenge to test engineering skills. Back in like the 13th, 14th century, this was high tech. This was very like cutting edge engineering. They used it to siege forts, that sort of thing. Now it's just a bit of a fun challenge, but uh, nonetheless, with only an hour and a half to build and you have to build out of cardboard, it's, uh, it's not easy. Box is won, so the competition went into a tiebreaker where accuracy of a beanbag toss counted more than the brute strength of the catapult. We're probably going to go on the, the next uh, cake competitor next and see if we can build a, a masterpiece out of <laughs> culinary foods in a specific amount of time. Visit ingenious.ca for more info. For Sun News, I'm Catherine Grukowski.